Hey guys, and welcome back to another Conan Exiles video. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to build in the classical style, a fusion of ancient Greek and Roman. So, without further ado, let's get started. Classical architecture is perhaps one of the most easily identifiable styles out there. It's classy, elegant and timeless, though it can sometimes be surprisingly difficult to replicate. Today we'll be examining classical architecture in the context of larger buildings, though some aspects that we'll look at can be scaled down to more modest home designs. Peasant homes in ancient Rome and Greece were actually fairly unremarkable compared to the more extravagant temples, villas and palaces, so we will be focusing on those more intriguing designs. Classical architecture is dictated by a few core tenets, so let's take a look at those. The first thing you'll almost always notice is likely to be the colour and tonality of the structure. Classical buildings were made from a variety of materials depending upon their importance, style and the time period they came from. Most typically, you'll see them depicted with a white stone, usually marble or Roman concrete, though other materials and treatment processes were used at the time. The second and most important part of classical architecture is the columns. Rather than being purely decorative, the columns themselves were used to dictate exact style. Classical has, broadly speaking, five different styles, though most significant are the Doric, Ionic and Corinthian orders. These orders follow recognised forms and proportions for the columns and tablature, and generally had some influence on the rest of the building and the interior design too. Romans tended to prefer the Corinthian style, which was a more extravagant design than Doric or Ionic, and ancient Greece didn't really use Corinthian all that much. These orders aren't really represented well within the Aquilonian and Argosian building sets, but you can make some rough attempts to match them with the available pillars. Another notable feature, especially of larger temple style builds, is the roof. It's usually a very simple affair with a large, gently sloping open gable roof that encompasses the entire build. This larger roof can be split into smaller roofs of a similar design on different layouts, but it's not as common, that is more of a neoclassical thing. Another common feature of neoclassical is that sometimes you will also have flat roofs. There may also be an entablature, basically a large art piece, either on the gable or on the section between the gable and the pillars, and this was usually engraved. Something else notable is the cornice and frieze that often frame the bottom of the roof. Implementation of this depends upon the chosen architectural order, but seeing this on your larger and more stereotypical classical structures is expected. Perhaps one of the most important things is simply the symmetry of things. This isn't true for every classical building, but this style has remained popular for so long due to its symmetrical nature and carefully considered design. You'll also notice there are no external supports like buttresses. This just wasn't the done thing for classical structures, generally speaking. Finally, archways. Now these aren't present in all classical designs, and they're not present in this example, as arches were very popular amongst the Romans, but not really used at all by the Greek. However, though not necessary, they can make a very nice addition to the classical style if you're aiming for more of a hybrid, rather than specifically Greek or Roman. So now that we've identified the core components of what makes classical, let's try building it ourselves. We're going to start off with a very simple design akin to the Temple of Hephaestus that we just looked at. The best part about building classical is the simplicity of things. Outside of items that are easier to include with mods like frieze and entablatures, classical structures are very easy to build with the right materials. The real struggle is learning how to manage space and proportions perfectly. You can easily include all of the notable aspects of classical architecture into a single build, but if it doesn't use its space and form well, it's not going to feel right. That's perhaps the hardest part of building classical. Much like medieval, Byzantine and other architectural styles, nailing that feeling is just as important as making sure all the building pieces go together in the correct way. In this example build, I've kept things as simple as possible. This is literally just a box with an extended roof and some pillars, but it feels like a stereotypically classical design. These structures are not for everyone, some people prefer a busier and much more active design, but the classical approach is a timeless style, and it's a wonderful design to fall back on if you can't quite make other designs work. Again, it can be really hard to nail the feeling of classical, I still don't feel like I've got it down to a T, but it is truly a beautiful style that shines in its simplicity and understated elegance. In terms of the modded approach for classical, I haven't actually found that many mods that elevate this style. Unlike Stygian, Medieval etc, it seems classical just is not as popular, thus making establishing cornice, frieze and entablatures much more difficult. There are probably some mods out there that can work well for this style, but I just haven't found them myself. 
That being said, one mod combination you can use is glass constructions paired with less building placement restrictions. This allows you to place pillars in corner snap points, which can be a great addition, especially if you're going for a more sort of neoclassical design. Pillars in the corners is a wonderful way to frame the design if you don't have large pillars on the exterior. Again, I think this works best with a less traditional classical approach, be that neoclassical or a hybrid style, but it is a good modded option for classical architecture, even if it's not 100% historically accurate. The core tenets of classical can also be adopted into circular builds, you don't always have to build rectangles of course. This example build works really nicely with its shape, and though it's not probably what we'd typically think of when it comes to classical buildings, it does capture that balanced elegance well. To recap, classical is characterised by a few different points. Those are colour and tonality, columns built in one of the orders, a simple roof, the inclusion of cornice, frieze and entablatures above the pillars, symmetry, and in Roman classical designs, archways. Classical is perhaps one of the most beautiful and timeless architectural styles out there. Throughout the swathes of Art Deco, Brutalism, Bauhaus, and even up to the often criticised modern aesthetic, classical designs have remained a classy and elegant style that has endured for many centuries, and will likely endure for many more. If you enjoy my content, all the links to my Twitch, Twitter, Discord, Patreon, Host Havoc affiliate page, NordVPN discount and NordPass discount are available in the description below. However, of course, you can simply just leave a like, a comment or subscribe, any of those are very greatly appreciated. Patrons get a bunch of nice benefits including sneak peeks of videos, your name in every video, custom made wallpapers in 1080p and 4k resolutions, full size build blueprints, discord roles and more. As always, a massive thanks to our patrons Sadialot, Randar, Connor, Ivy, Torn, Ill-Fated, CoffeeMan04, Jacques, Marion Ladd, Ryan, Ben, Alfric, Eagle Rose, Psychotic Diva, Melanie, and X Screeches X. As always, thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you soon.